One, two, banana. There's gotta be an easier way to count up products inside of Shopify, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, let's start a little bit with the history lesson. So if we go back seven or eight years, when Shopify first started charging for their service, the way they broke up the service was by a number of products you had on your website. So if you had uh, 100 products, you paid one price. If you had 2,000 products, you paid another price. They hired a consulting firm. They changed that all around. They switched to unlimited products. Now, one of the drawbacks with switching to unlimited products is they removed the indication on your dashboard on how many products was on your store. Now, for most people, this wasn't a big deal because you don't really need to know what your product count is if it's unlimited. However, if you're trying to audit your products and you're trying to figure out, did the, did the, the last import work? What is my product count? I need to provide that number to a fulfillment service, whatever. There has got to be an easy way to figure out how many products are in your Shopify store. I'm going to hop over to my screen now and I'm going to show you exactly how we do it. So if you're on your Shopify dashboard, the best thing you can do is if you go to products and you get to the URL at the top. Now, if you delete out the uh, question mark, everything beyond the question mark and type slash count.json, what it's going to do is it'll go and grab all your products, concatenate them all together, count them up and give you a count right on the screen. So as you can see in this particular store, this demo store that I have open, there is two products in there. When I run count, I get two as an answer. Now this is not just reserved for products. You can actually do this on collections as well. So if you're wondering how many collections you have set up, you can go slash count.json and away you go. You now have your count. We have three. I'm going to show you another example. This extends, this extends to customers too. So if I'm on customers and I type slash count dot JSON, I can see how many customers I have on my dashboard. This is really, really helpful because if you're trying to figure out if somebody's imported, if something's been imported, if there's been an update, whatever it is, this is really e an easy way to figure out how many people are in your store or how many products you have without having to run an export. Because sometimes running an export can take a few hours. And if you just want a quick shot at like how many people are in there, I can type slash count and we can get our answer. Now I'm gonna show you one other trick that you can do inside of Shopify. If you're inside of Shopify and you're on customers or products and you just want a dump of all of the things in there without going through the exporter, you can go customers.json directly. And what it will do is it'll give you out a list of all of your customers in a JSON format. Now I realize this is a little bit complicated. If you're not familiar with JSON, it just can look like a whole bunch of garbly goop. But what you can do is you can copy. So I'm going to select all of these things and we're going to go to a website called JSON to CSV converter. And what this allow you to do is it allow you to paste in that information that we copied from the previous page, and then we get to output it as a CSV file. And by outputting as a CSV file, this is a way for us to quickly bypass the Shopify export, and we can have it right in front of us. So say, for example, you're in a situation where you might not have access to the email address, but you have a lot of access to log into the dashboard, and you just want some quick numbers. Well, this is a way for you to go and do that. All right, that's it for me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Hit that bell notification if you want to get updated every time I upload a new video, and we will see you guys next time.